Welcome to part 9 of the MongoDB series. We're going to make in the next couple of videos a clone of Twitter.com. So you can write tweets and look at tweets from other users. And to do that first you're going to have to make a new database. It's called, I called mine TwitterDB and you're going to have three collections in there. Following tweets and users. And in this video we're going to make a login and register page. So to start off you're going to want something called dbconnect.php. It is a very simple file. All you have to do is require composers autoload.php, then make a new client, and then connect, make a variable called db that allows you to connect to your database, whichever, whatever you named it. Then you're going to want to make a file called index.php. That's this is going to be the login page. You can pause the video and copy down this HTML. This just makes this form over here. So a form, a login button, and a link to the register page. And I'll show you what PHP we need to write to make this functional. First, you're going to want to write session start because we're going to be use, using sessions to manage the login for our users. You're going to require dbconnect.php as well. Whoops, okay, dbconnect.php. We're going to do a quick check to see if any users are logged in. If they are, then we're just going to redirect them. To the home page. And finally, so this is we have a form down here and the action is index.php. So when a user submits, they're basically sending us a username and password. So we're going to check over here if that is the case. And so basically what I'm writing is if a user sent us a password and a username. and password whoops password first thing we're going to do is we're going to set some variables to pass in password and we're going to want to hash our password because the passwords that we're storing in our database are not plain text they're hashed for security purposes, of course. Finally, we're going to ask our database, does a entry exist in the users collection where there is this username and this password? So username and password. Now, if there isn't a result, that means that there isn't a user with his username and password in the database. So let's not do anything. Or we could display an error message, but for now, we'll leave that blank. But if there is a user, then we're going to log them in. So we're going to set the session variable to use of user to the ID of this user that we just got. So result underscore ID and then finally we're gonna redirect redirect this user to the home page so like this and then we're gonna want to make a register.php so literally the same thing copy the HTML from this index.php change the action on the form to register.php change the value here to sign up and change the link here to index.php so users can go back to the login page and the PHP is going to be essentially the same for this register page. All we have to really change is this. So get rid of this if statement. We're going to keep this, we're going to redirect the user to index.php after they send us a username and password. And instead of finding, we're going to do insert one into the database. So this register.php, when, when this form is submitted, it takes the username, hashes the password, inserts it into our database and redirects the user to the login page. So let's see if that works. We're going to go here, we're going to make a uh, jack test and we're going to see if that works and redirects us to home and it does. So that is how to make a login and register page. In the next video we'll be working on home.php. 